Hey everybody from Rainy Rainy, Richmond, Virginia. I hope all of you are having a really lovely day. It's quite cool here. It reminds me that indeed fall is on, fall is, is in the air and on the way. I've got two journals to add to the Etsy store today. Um, I think I'll have four, you know, by the end of the week. So do stay tuned. This one is Georgia O. And this one is Birdsong. We'll look at Birdsong first. These are five by seven journals. The spines are two and a quarter and they are quite uh, girthy. We got the girth going on here. This one is about four and a quarter. And of course, when you let her loose, she kind of, her waistline kind of expands. And that's the whole idea of a book like this is to, uh, is to expand your creative thinking and your creative doing. Let's take a look and see what we have here. We start off with a really sweet sentiment that says, this is the sweet life. So often we, uh, we tend to kind of take things for granted and we forget that we really do live by moments and seconds and we should be attuned to enjoying what is going on. Um, and even if it's not an enjoyable thing, then observe it and don't absorb it and just let your love light shine. This is a creative collection, you guys. If you've been with me for a while, you see me use these in journals. This is a piece that you can take out in the morning over your coffee and just work with this piece if you want to. You know, if, if you are called to work or called to get the kids up to go to school, then... I try to make creativity very easy for you guys and quick and fun and, you know, give you something to think about and something to do uh, in a very busy day. I love these magazine pages, you guys. These are from a publication called um, Quick. And it was from 1952, so it's very interesting to go through and just read the articles here. A page from a Dick and Jane Reader. Well, this one is Su Susan and Bill. Dick and Jane, same thing. I remember sitting in reading circle and uh, realizing what those words meant on the page and what those ABCs meant. And, and I have been an avid reader, you know, since I was a really small child. Remember that these journals are comprised of four signatures and they're filled with cardstock and papers and maps and magazine images, text pages, cards, vintage text pages, bookmarks, tags, embellishments. Basically, just anything that um, that would call you to create. The, the fun part about these books, this is a creative collection. This is just, again, you know, something for you to, to pull out of the book and to work with independently or marry this with something else in the book. It does have fabric and buttons and findings and all kinds of fun things to play with either independently just with this kit or uh, like I said combining them with other things in the book. Um, there are going to be small ephemera bundles with a word or a phrase uh, that are in this book and it's just an encouragement to to write, to think, to journal, uh, to maybe even draw a photograph or paint a picture of the word that you see is just uh, a cue. This says brilliant life and I could not resist this beautiful image of, um, I mean, this is, it doesn't even look this Victorian, it looks medieval, on a piece of ready for you copy dyed paper. So you can write your own story about a brilliant life. And if you aren't at the brilliant life stage yet, you can write about how you're going to get there. 
we're all at the brilliant life stage. Just sometimes we just don't realize that, that we are there. Another collection for you, this one says together. I really love the images here. You can just put together a story, can't you? This is the key to uh, this guy's, maybe he's got a bolt hole. You know, like uh, like Sherlock Holmes always had all the hideouts, the the bolt holes um, around London. I, that that intrigues me to no end. I was I was the little girl who did not play with Barbie dolls, and um, who did not wear dresses and things like that. I was someone who was uh, the spy and uh, the cowboy and that kind of thing. To me, that was always very intriguing. I love the way the little kitty cat. Is kind of peeking out from here and you've got some stickers to work with you'll notice that um, I really uh, try to curate uh, colors you know colors textures um, just the visual optics of things like this that you can pull out and play with immediately a lot of times and I've talked about this before we tend to uh, you know, we want to make something, want to make something, uh, so we watch a whole lot of videos, or we may um, uh, get out a whole bunch of craft stuff, and then it's like, well, I still don't know what to do. These are automatic to-dos. Automatically, you can put this together, you can make a tag, you can make a, uh, an art trading card, you can do some writing, you can do some journaling, you can do some diaring, diaring dia ring uh, you can make lists uh, make book lists make move movie lists uh, do whatever you want uh, I like the way that these words just kind of fell into this one uh, we think that she her name is May and May must marry the next man that comes along or she's going to be too old i'm reading pride and prejudice again i tend to read it pretty constantly and i'm always intrigued with this um you know with the uh the notion of marrying i'm uh, women had to marry they could not inherit and they weren't encouraged to have a career over getting married and having children and that kind of thing. This is a page from, this is a page from a journaling by Fives book that I did that I really, really loved. And you can see that it is pretty chunky here. We have another little creative kit for you right there. automatic creativity friends you don't really even have to think about it i read something the other day that was so pivotal you know to my thoughts at this moment and that was that accomplishment creates dopamine and dopamine is that feel good sensation. It's that euphoric completion that I did it, I did it. And I love that. I love that creativity can really lend itself to kind of switching our brains and turning our um, happy reflexes on. It's, it's, it's not happy if it's a struggle. Lots of people tend to um, talk about art as struggling. And it's a struggle and it's really hard and, and it's, it's really time consuming and it, it's just hard and it's just hard to be an artist. And it's like, man, you gotta let that go. You gotta let go of that thinking and just embrace what you're doing and have fun with it. When you start having fun, then you get super creative. You start to not care. Uh, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's what happens. You start to just get elevated and you're, uh, you know, you're experiencing that wonderful thing that we like to talk about called flow. 
again from Quick Magazine, 1952. I love the images here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what we can do with a creative journal. You know, we can share it because the book is meant to be taken apart because we use a wrap binding technique and that allows the pages to be removed and shared and worked with and reinserted back into the book. Uh, we can we can use these elements for mixed media. We can remove a magazine page and a vintage text page and embellishments from a pocket or from a kit and create a mixed media piece or a postcard or an art trading card or an art trading coin or whatever you want to uh, cluster. You could do clusters with these. I dig this old cookbook. You can see that it's been used. It's in great shape, y'all. It's not like it's stained or anything. It has just been used. And I, this was from the modern Priscilla cookbook. Um, I, I, I'm always intrigued by old cookbooks. Are y'all? I mean, do you do you think that old cookbooks are very very interesting? There's something about uh, leafing through one that I mean, it's like a trip through time, right? really super cool. I have been a selfish being all my life in practice, though not in principle. And this is from Pride and Prejudice. So there's a lot of papers for you to work with right there. I really do encourage you guys to uh, try a little bit of, um, of uh, tissue paper and trace some things on it. Uh, again, another story starter right here. We've got coffee cups, we've got coffee beans, we've got coffee stained paper, uh, a tracing of a beautiful lady, and maybe you are having coffee with a beautiful lady on Thursday. Or maybe you are a beautiful lady having coffee with an intriguing gentleman or an intriguing lady. You just never know. You can use these things in the, these books to fill another book. A lot of times uh, when we come to the white page, you know, what it, uh, that's called flop, fear of the white page. <laughs> we don't know what to do, and we don't even have a place to jump off of. This is a great jumping off place if you are filling another journal, if you've got a flow journal going, or if you've got... Um, if you've got an art journal going, or if you've got uh, journaling by fobs going on, or if you've got an art journal going, this is the cover of the Quick magazine. Don't you love that? It's so cool. Uh, this is Lana Turner. So fill another journal or book. You can take the elements from this book and just make another book entirely. Um, I really love to make books uh, just very quickly using a stab binding. I think that it is the way to go. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. It's just uh, grab a few pages, uh, nestle them together, and make yourself a stab bound book. It's really nice. We can do vision boards or dream boards or master boards. These books are great to create gifts, man. We're getting into that gift-giving season, and no matter if you are, um, no matter what holidays you celebrate, or if you're not a holiday person, if you are, um, you know, if you just, I mean, the end of the year is something to celebrate. It's really nice to... Uh, to bookend a year and then be able to get ready for a new year. Something like this would be a really fun planner as well. You certainly could use it in that capacity or a diary or a writing journal. There are plenty of places to write and plenty of prompts to write about. I call this Georgia O. It reminds me of Georgia O'Keeffe, this big um, big flower 
on the front. I really like the way that that looks. Georgia O'Keeffe, I, I believe she lived in the desert and she was very inspired by nature. Uh, the first prompt in this book says, you make every day sweeter. I had a lot of trouble with this washi tape, y'all. Um, it did not want to stick. Um, I'm often, I often wonder if it's the washi tape, which I'm reluctant to blame the washi tape, it's me because I really love to stuff these journals just full of things for you to have fun with and for you to create with. And uh, I did have to use a bit of scotch tape to uh, reinforce, <laughs> to reinforce the washi. A lot of vintage papers for you to be inspired by. I've started using my little pieces of, you guys know I do a lot of watercolor, and I'm starting to use my, uh, my offcuts for watercolor for these sorts of, of books as well. So we talked about vision boards and dream boards and master boards. Uh, we talked about gifts and cards. You guys can uh, make your own book with these. You can make happy mail. I have a list of folks, uh, mostly from my Patreon group, that I send happy mail to. It's always fun to, uh, to send a note to somebody. I also have some uh, older friends that I really love sending notes to as well. It always cheers folks up. To get a piece of mail that's not you know like a bill or something like that i love the way this came together these are buffalo bill cody stamps and i thought it was really fun to marry those buffalo bill stamps with wagon wheel cheese and the cheese labels just really did kind of speak this one says holy cow speak to uh, those pioneer days, you know, when people actually made cheese. And uh, I, I love the, the lore of Buffalo Bill. I just think it's a lot of fun. This item says burdock blood and bitters. If you're getting ready for Thanksgiving or, um, you know, Christmas or the New Year, don't you love this old advertising? 1952 again. I really love the way this page came out. I like the, um, I have to send a shout out to Cheryl J for, <clears throat> she gave me all her art stuff when she um, moved away recently and it was like, oh, wow. There was so much great things to play with. Thank you, Cheryl, so much. And she said, uh, she's funny, she knows me. I know what you're going to do with them. You're going to make journals with them. And I was like, how did you know? Uh, a beautiful piece of Italian here. Let me tell you what this says. Each of us is a moon. He has a dark side that he never shows. <sighs> Isn't that gorgeous? And I've got moon imagery here, you know, some... A celestial cosmic kind of energy for you to tap into. Remember that you can use these in a sketchbook. Uh, also, because everything is curated, it makes creativity really simple. So you've got to, um, you know, you aren't going to spend a whole lot of time creating. But let me tell you, you could use this book. It's one of those evergreen things over and over and over again. You just never get tired of working in a journal like this because there's so much to see. There's so much to create with. There's so much to write about. There's so much to story up. There's so many images to inspire you to draw or paint, trace, do anything that you want to. You can kind of hear the rain starting. And I've also, today, the uh, school buses are starting to run their routes. That's how you really know it's really happening. Has it been hot where you guys are? It's, it, it, May, it rained every single day. 
uh, and then April it was cold April it was cold May it just rained and rained and rained and then June was uh, I don't know June June was maybe normal and then July was like a hundred degrees every day it wasn't a hundred degrees it, it was just like 98 95 98 this is really pretty this is this says sacred geometry if you are attuned to nature you see sacred geometry everywhere you see it in the trees you see it in the leaves you see it in the flowers this is another little creative kit for you to have lots of fun with things like this make really awesome gifts especially for people who are shut in uh, for people who are recovering from an illness, for people who uh, cannot um, have mobility issues or transportation issues, it's a really lovely way to spend the day. It's an excellent way to couch potato those winter months coming up away. You always have a project that you can do. You can make cards from these books. This is cardstock, friends. This is eight by six, which is a four by six piece. Uh, perfect for making cards for your friends or family or your neighbors or the people that you love. This is a way to minimize um, that stash crush, right? The, the, uh, we, we often have just too much and too many choices. And if you, if you have too much on your desk and if you have a lot of choices, then um, often you, you become confused. This kind of cuts down on the confusion and gives you ample opportunity to work with what's within the book. That doesn't mean that you can't use it on other projects and other art and things like that. You'll notice that this book has a bow right here. Um, I never know exactly what's gonna happen when I cover these books with fabric, but this one does have like a little bow. I always think that it's nestling the contents, <laughs> the contents of the book. It's giving it a little bit of a hug, I do believe. And what's not to hug about these books? These are $45. Shipping is free. And of course, I always uh, include a little special gift for you guys. I appreciate your support. I'll put a link to the Etsy store. And um, I will have other things going in the Etsy store that are not book related, that are more ephemera, some jewelry, and things like that, that we are really bumping out that Etsy store. Thanks for hanging out with me today, y'all. I hope you have a great Thursday, and I will see you soon. Bye.